Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, it certainly was warm out there yesterday. These were the high temperatures yesterday. 44 officially in Jamestown, 41 in Dunkirk. Also another pair of fours over in Erie and 43 in Olean. We're done with the warmer temperatures for today, but they're coming right back. So hang on, we got to get through today first and then we'll be on our way to more warmth once again. So, you know, the storm system that, you know, we've been talking about all week, it's basically just nuisance type of snow through the day and through the night tonight, a few inches at most. This is not a big deal kind of snow so it's not really going to be a huge deal here we're giving the weekend five stars and you'll see that a little bit later on and we have a taste of spring coming our way what Yes, spring is going to be making a return here uh, as we head uh, into the weekend into early next week. Let's take you through FutureScan. Newest run of the in-house computer model shows you uh, those uh, nuisance kind of snow systems. Now, what's going on here is there's two low-pressure systems, one to our west and then one off the Atlantic coast. The two are going to marry or merge, and that's going to basically get us wrapped up in the flow around the low with a northerly wind. So we are going to see these on-again, off-again snow showers through the afternoon and then through tonight. And then watch what happens after midnight. The snow just disappears disappears as that low pressure system moves off the Atlantic coast and then tomorrow is fine and dandy dry. We stay cool tomorrow with a northerly wind but then the temperatures really warm up as we head into Sunday. So basically snowfall accumulations here, it's no big deal because it's not going to be a big deal. Three to four inches at most on the hills, one to two inches lower elevations, one inch or less uh, further down to the south. It's who cares kind of snow basically, and it's not even going to last long. Obviously with the warmer temperatures over the weekend, all this is going to melt. So who really cares that it's going to snow because it's not going to last long. Also, don't forget, we go back on, on um, essentially we go back on daylight time at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. So as you head to bed Saturday, if you still have old fashioned clocks, make sure you spring them forward one hour and also make sure you check and change the batteries in your NOAA weather radio. Every home needs to have one. Of course, we tell you about that. And of course, check and change the batteries in your smoke detector. Of course, you do that, um, of course, you know, on every time change. So we go back on daylight time. We lose an hour of sleep, but we gain daylight again as the times, as essentially the sunrise and the sunsets now are starting to get a little bit longer. So basically, scattered snow showers through the afternoon, one to three inches at most. Better chance for that three inches on the hills. Most everybody will be around one to two less, um, essentially lower accumulations across the lower elevations, cooler, bit of a breeze. 34 on the hills, 39 near the Lake Erie shoreline, west wind 15 to 25 miles per hour, some wind gusts near 30 miles per hour at times tonight. Snow showers will continue early. We may pick up another one to two inches across the hills, less than an inch across the lower elevations and further down to the south. Otherwise, mostly cloudy after midnight and colder. We're down to 19 in the valleys to 24 at the Lake Erie shoreline with a north wind 10 to 20 with some wind gusts near 30 miles an hour at times. Look at this weekend coming up on the seven day. Fantastic here, 38 degrees tomorrow. We stay Stay cool though with that northerly wind. We've gone crazy on Sunday. We put 60 in the forecast. We think we have a shot at hitting it farther inland away from the lake. Obviously, spots near the Lake Erie shoreline are going to stay a little bit cooler. We stay mild into Monday with a few scattered rain showers. A trough coming in may bring us a better chance for rain and wet snow Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with temperatures actually seasonable with highs in the mid to lower 40s.